Hi guys, Richard here, and uh, today I've got another quick video tutorial for you, and also uh, a free gift as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you um, how to build your own opt-in form for your website. Now, I've been making some changes to, to my website, and what I wanted to do was to put a very simple opt-in form um, in one of the sidebars on the blog. And if you go to the, uh, the website at uh, internetmarketingtestlab.com, you'll be able to see that. But I'll show you it in just a second. So let's, uh, let's scoot over to the blog now, and I'll show you exactly the, uh, the opt-in form that I've added. And then we'll, uh, we'll go into how I put that together, and I'll show you exactly how that works. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, so here we are, we're over at the, uh, the blog, Internet Marketing Test Lab, and over here on the right hand side, you'll see in this right sidebar here, this is where um, I've added uh, an opt-in form. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving away this free report, Easy Websites with WordPress, you might already uh, have a copy. But if you haven't, then just put your, uh, your name and email address here and uh, I'll send that to you. But I wanted to do something really very simple that, that sort of stood out. So what I did is I just had the, the heading here, free report. I added in the, uh, the image of the report and uh, the, the opt-in box here, which is uh, you know, just the autoresponder code. And what I decided to do, I decided to leave it um, what, I, what I call floating. So there's no border. Uh, around the opt-in, you know, the opt-in form, it's just uh, it's just sitting there, and and I just like the look of that, so uh, that's the way I've decided to do it. And it's very very easy to uh, to put on your own site. And what we'll do now, uh, just on the next uh, the next slide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my HTML editor, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make this opt-in form. And then I'm also going to give you a copy of the opt-in form that you can change and use on your own site. Hi guys, uh, Richard here again. So I'm here in my HTML editor. I use a, a, a HTML editor called Composer. It's a free software. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I put together the opt-in form um, using this editor. So the first thing I, I did was I, I inserted a table. So I'm going to insert a table. And I'm going to make the table one column and two rows. So I just highlight the, uh, the two just like that. Click on that. And you'll see my table here. So I need to make a change to the, uh, to the table. So I'm just going to double click and I come up here and I click on table and I've got my two rows and my one column and I want to make the table uh, 300 high and 140 wide. I'll change that to pixels and I'm going to make the border zero. As you saw in the uh, when we looked at the website. Um, I had the, the opt-in form just floating and that's what I want so we have to make the border zero. So I'm going to click apply and I click OK. And there you go, you'll see my, my, my table now. So I've got two, two parts to the table uh, and as you can see the shape of that is roughly the same area that, uh, that I've got on the website for the opt-in form. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, put my cursor in here in this first cell. Now you'll see that it's on the left hand side and it's in the middle. I actually want it up the top here in the center. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to come over here to content alignment and I click on vertical. So my vertical alignment is top and my horizontal alignment is going to be center. And I'll apply and I click OK. And now if I click in this cell, you now see that the cursor is at the top and in the center where I want it. So the first thing I need to do to, to build my form, whoops, not fee, is I need to put my text in, free report, which you saw on the, uh, on the Internet Marketing Test Lab uh, blog site. And I just want to change this a little bit. So I've got my text. I'm going to change the, um, the font. And we're going to make it the same as I've got on the website, which is Verdana. 
and I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make it red and I'm going to make it FF0022 uh, because I know that that's the color that I've got on the rest of the website. So you see there that we've now got free report. What I want to do now is I want to just enter and I want to put my product image in. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to come here, insert, and I'm going to insert image. And what I need to do is I need to just go over here. And this is the image that I want in the uh, in the, the area there. So I'm going to just double click. And you see that the image preview comes up. I just need to put some alternative text. So that's easy to chance with WordPress. And I click OK. And there you go, and there's my product image. So that's the first part. What you can also do here is you can um, you can also um, add the product image by just entering the URL location. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll keep it simple for now. Um, let, let's just go on. So I'm just going to um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to change the size of this because it's just increased the uh, the size of the first cell. So I'm just going to click in there, and I'm going to make the height of the cell. Uh, 200 pixels, that should be okay. Yep, that's fine. So the next thing I need to do is I need to click into this cell. Again, you see that it's on the left and it's in the middle. I'm going to change that again. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the vertical alignment again is going to be at the top. And the horizontal alignment is going to be in the center. So I'll apply and I'll click OK. Now if I enter here, you'll see that the cursor again is at the top. Now all I need to do is I need to take my autoresponder code and I need to place it in this area. Now I can't place it in the cell as it is at the moment because if I did that it would just show the code on my web page. So what I need to do is I need to change the view. So here I've got normal view, um, which is the view that I'm in at the moment. Then we've got HTML tags. I'll show you what this looks like. So you see that you've got the standard HTML tags here. But the one I'm interested in is source. Now, you've probably seen stuff like this before. You've seen the code. So this is the code that we we want to we want to put into our website, and then that will generate the the opt-in form. Now, just so that you're aware, I want to show you something. You've got here image, which is the image that we've put in, okay, and you've got the the source of the image. It says SRC here. That's the source of the image. So. What you'd need to do, if you were making your own opt-in form, you would need to put your own image in this particular area. And you'll see here where the cursor is flashing. Let's go back to the normal view. You'll see the cursor is flashing here. So if you go into source and you right click, so you would have copied your, your autoresponder code and all you would need to do is just paste it in this particular area. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back a second, and I'm just going to go back to that point. Let's just show you normal quickly again. There it is. I'll go to source, and I'm going to put in here add auto responder code here, and I'm also going to take out my image. So if I, if I take this line of code out, this is my image. Just one second. I'm going to put add image here. So you can download this code. It's this table. It's the same size as I'm using um, over here. So it's the same table that I'm using here for, for my opt-in form. And you can just take that and you can put it on your 
on your blog. So, so I've saved that now, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, upload that to to my server, and I'm going to create a link to it be below the video. And what you can do is you can just click on that and grab that code, and you can just use it yourself to uh, to put an opt-in form into your site. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you again soon.